In this video series, we're going to create an Active Directory domain within Microsoft Azure using the brand new portal interface. They've made some improvements that have make this a really easy process if you just follow these basic steps. I'm going to go ahead and in my example, I'm going to create an Active Directory domain called Corp under the MIIM Master IT and Minutes dot com domain. So here are the five steps. Step one, the step we're on, we're going to create an Azure virtual network, a virtual network space in Azure for our Active Directory domain. Two, we'll create virtual machines to run Active Directory domain services. We're going to create Server 2012 machines, data center edition. We're then going to configure an additional disk for the sysvol, 10 gigs, which is suggested. We'll put the sysvol files over there. And then we're going to set each of those virtual machines machines, those servers we created, with static IP addresses. At that point, we'll install and configure the ADDS role on the first virtual machine. And the reason we're going to do the first virtual machine is then we have to go back out into Azure, reset and configure DNS to point to the first machine so that we can install Active Directory within the same domain, within the same forest, on the second virtual machine so that we have redundancy just like we would in a local area network environment. So I've already logged in to Azure. I'm on the brand new portal and we get started. Again, the first thing we need to do is create a virtual network. So I'm gonna just click new. It'll open up this next panel and I choose networking. At this point, I'm gonna choose virtual network. Now you're gonna to wanna to write down what you call these different things that we're going to need within our virtual network. I'm going to use the regular resource manager and choose create. Now at this point, I need to give my virtual network a name and it's very important that I remember this name. So I'm going to call mine MIIM virtual network. Hopefully that makes sense to y'all. Now notice the address space here. I need a subnet name. So my first subnet, since I'm not going to create a bunch of them, is going to be MIIM subnet one. Here is my addressing for that subnet. I'm on an Azure pass and I need a resource group. So it should make sense that the new resource group name I'm going to create is MIIM resource group and then just choose create. So it'll go ahead, it'll accept all that and it'll initialize the deployment. So once it initializes the deployment, we'll see that under our resource groups. So there's the resource group that we created. And if I then go under all resources, I'm going to see the MIIM virtual network. Now, if I click on the virtual network, notice deployments have succeeded. It gives me the information on this virtual network. So I'll go over to properties here real quick. Okay, we can see my subscription. I can go to address space. And if you see, I'm on a 10.0.0.0 WAC 16. Here's my subnet. I've got one subnet. This is the subnet under which I'm going to build my virtual machines. So that's easy, and that is step one. 